Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee kapas from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Let it go like that so that God will be glorified. Yes, my Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Christiana Kadri. Thank you. My question is, uh, like somebody prophesied to you, you're going to marry a man of God. And you have been waiting. <laughs> okay. Many ladies are happy. Okay, let, let's get the question, please. And Someone prophesied to you. And nobody... And said you will marry a pastor yes. and you have been waiting. And the person has been waiting because one miracle service, I saw you say you prophesied to one lady that she's going to marry a pastor. And one day again, I'm listening to one man of God. He was saying, anybody that prophesied, if he's a man of God, that the thing did not happen, continue waiting. Even when you die waiting, continue waiting. So <laughs> I'm asking that too. When somebody prophesied to you, you're going to marry a pastor and the pastor is not coming, you continue waiting. What okay. to do? That's a very good question. I think we can use it. It's not just prophesying about marriage. It could be about anything. Praise the Lord. Now, um, I, I understand what she's saying and she's communicating probably the pain of a lot of people. Because over time, we men of God have spoken to people and there are times that for others, the prophecy have even come with precise detail. You are going to marry a man called uh, Ebenezer. His immediate department. The day you will see him is wearing a white cloth, dark trouser, he's holding a camera. If he snaps you, just know. <laughs> now, come Ebenezer. Now, Ebenezer. Come now, Ebenezer. Now, Ebenezer, you now come for Koinonia. And Ebenezer is just snapping around and focuses on you. And your heart is beating. It's true. Ebenezer snaps you and goes to marry somebody else. Are we together now? And now you are waiting and you are frustrated. Now, there are three things here I want to explain. I know we have all laughed, but let's listen closely now. The Bible says that even the ministration of the gifts must be done according to the measure of grace. Are we together? Two of us can be prophets. But the grace, the access to authority and strength, the spiritual ranking that authorizes us in the dispensing is like you have two doctors. One is just doing his housemanship. Another one is doing, another one is a consultant. They are all called doctors, but are they the same? They are not the same at all. Are we together now? This is how it is spiritually. So when we, when there is the ministration of the word, Notice sometimes when you see me wanting to talk to people, I call people out by the Spirit and I just keep quiet. Because of what the Lord is communicating to me, sometimes it's like a feedback mechanism. I'm checking in my spirit to make sure that this is not an interplay of the flesh. And to also make sure if God wants me to reveal it to them. Sometimes you see me and I talk to people. I take away the mic because the information is very sensitive and may, is something that can be embarrassing are we together now but let me tell you sincerely let me tell you this sincerely one thing i know about marriage and we have discussed that make reference to my message um challenging discussions on late marriage i think we touched that area where the issue of god said overrides the word of god the bible tells us hebrews chapter one god who in sundry times and diverse manners speak to us through the prophets has in this last day spoken to us through his son which he has appointed to be heir over all things and we know that that son is the living logos the word of god and so whether it is joshua selman i'm not telling you to doubt the word by the grace of god we press into the word of god to make sure that we bring accurate words and there is a track record you can follow up the things that have been prophesied over people 
some of them have come to pass some of them are already on the way praise the lord now um no matter what it is if a man of god gives you a prophetic word and after a season you do not for instance let's use marriage i prophesy to this lady now and i tell her a pastor is coming and michael comes to her and let's assume michael is just a businessman you know that the natural tendency is for her to drive him away and say please you are not a pastor um he may be a pastor when he marries her god didn't lie are we together but sometimes it can also be that there is need for a check in fact sincerely speaking let me tell you it is very it is very praiseworthy to go back to god again we have seen instances in the bible where god spoke and under certain circumstances he had to speak new things again are we together an example is isaiah 38 when he spoke to isaiah to speak to hezekiah remember that scripture he came and told him hezekiah put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness you are going to die are we bible students so when i hezekiah turned his face to the wall and invoked the mercy of god god sent isaiah again are we together to go back so there is a possibility it's not a doctrine but through scripture we see that there is a possibility um the alignment of man can make god say new things i'll give you an instance if this lady is your wife are we to um, example example if this lady is your wife i'm not showing you your wife if this lady is your wife of, of course let me just put a, a little word of blessing we are proud of our ladies and if i say it and god is is is, is directing you there there's nothing wrong ladies you should give me a happy meal tomorrow <laughs> are we together but now this is the example if this is your wife truly truly and she says i'm not doing do you think god is going to yoke you and tell you you will not marry any anybody again because of her carelessness and disobedience are we together now god will not put you to ransom the same way if god calls you into ministry and you say no will he force you will he kill you the same way he, he tells you that you should surrender all to him when you refuse he will not force you there's hellfire already to settle that issue so he will not force you please i want us to understand that the plans of god can change is his purposes that are eternal this is a revelation that would deliver many of us right now the plans of god can change god planned that you fly Ari to lagos and something happens god will tell you to enter if it's in a cheap transport the plans have changed but the destination is still lagos but when you sit down and say it must be Arik or it must be flight, are we together now? In scripture, again and again, for instance, do you know it was never God's desire for men to have earthly kings rule over them? When you read in the Bible, it was his desire that he remains their king. But the people out of anger and rebellion, they say, give us a king. And God had to make prophet Samuel to go and anoint Saul, the son of Kish, to become a king. Are we together now? Yes. It was never even God's desire. Listen. It was never God's desire for David, for the tribe of David to be the lineage with which Jesus will come. It was supposed to be Saul. Are we together? But Saul made a costly mistake that costed him that opportunity. Remember when he went and he was off. Um, giving the offering by himself they asked him to wait for the coming of the prophet but he could not wait because the people were murmuring and being a king he was not a priest are we together because in ancient times there were kings priests and prophets they operated in different dimensions occasionally the priests were also the prophets like we have in the case of samuel he was both a priest and a prophet are we together now and so in that incidence um saul now start he made sacrifices and while he finished samuel just came and samuel told him you have done foolishly he said if you had waited for me to come and offer the sacrifice god would have established your throne forever 
So it would not be the lion of the tribe of or, or the, the root of David. It would now be the root of Saul. Again, we see that the first person God called in the Bible was not Abraham. The first person God called in the Bible was his father, Terah. Terah was tired and he said, I'm not doing. And then God looked for Abraham. Are we together now? So that's very, very important. I think that um, we need to understand this. My, my dear, if, even if it's me that prophesied to you and you are tired, come and meet me. Come for counseling and say, let's, let's hear God. Let's pray about this issue again. Especially where there is a God-fearing, very serious and responsible brother who is ready to marry and is coming around you. You are hanging the person while waiting for the pastor to see if the pastor will come or not. Don't dilly dial. Find the man of God. If the person who prophesied to you is still within reach, find him. If you discern pride and arrogance in him that he's embarrassed to recheck whether his hearing was correct, go and look for another man of God to speak to you. Are we together now? I know there's a lady who came one time, I think from Port Harcourt, coming to confirm because a man of God described somebody, a fair person, and she had been waiting. And there was somebody who really loved God. When she came, I prayed for her and I said, I, I wish you a happy married life. And they are married now, happily married to the glory of God. She would have been waiting forever for, for a, a yellow person to appear. So, praise the Lord. Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, all these questions we have attempted reveal three things. Number one, it is costly. To be ignorant over spiritual things are we together it is costly just a little question and answer session but it has exposed us to a lot of things it is costly i trust that with this little question and answer session it has activated our appetite for more of god you see if you do not understand scripture you will be deceived in many ways you notice that every question i attempt to answer i show you a scripture to support it because you cannot afford to answer questions with opinions. And you will not know God's opinion if you don't study. Study. Study to show yourself, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word. Praise the Lord. Psalms 82 from verse 5 says, They know not neither will they understand he said they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course so it is important for us to be good students of the word not religiously studying it but studying it with everything that we have Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.